Hello, and welcome to the second series of my survival Minecraft Let's Play. So I've decided to start a new series after kind of hitting a wall with the first series. I started the first series off thinking I would go completely vanilla and quite quickly move to installing various different mods and I mean, it just all felt kind of rushed and because I was you know coming back to the game after not playing it for so many years I felt like I was kind of just learning things and you know, doing things quickly and just working things out a bit too much so it feels it just felt like it just it wasn't very good uh, I mean the videos weren't great. Obviously, it was the first time I was making videos, and I changed microphone halfway through, and you know, a whole host of things. But yeah, I didn't really like my where I the area I set up was being surrounded by all different mountains and having to climb everywhere, which is annoying. Um, so I've decided to start a new series, and I sp I spent the last couple of weeks. Uh, refining my mod pack that I will sooner release if people are interested in. You know, nothing, nothing that I've done, just a mod pack I've put together um, yeah, with selections. Um, not taking any credit for, for actually you know, making anything. Uh, as you can see, I'm running some shaders now. Um, currently just set to sort of low quality to not affect things too much, but just to give a little bit of aesthetics and yeah you'll see I can see my character which I think is kind of cool and there uh, are a whole host of mods but again keeping a fairly vanilla feel to the game mainly just you know uh, optimizations and FPS in increasing mods and uh, yeah general quality of life things like auto switching to the best tool in on your hotbar being able to chop trees by uh, chopping the bottommost log and a bunch of weather enhancing mods, sounds, animations. Um, I did mess around with different biome generators like bi Biomes O Plenty and uh, Tectonic and Terralith and combinations of, but I've gone back to just standard biomes. Uh, I do have a bunch of extra and better kind of structures and, you know, mine shafts and nethers and ends and all sorts that kind of just add on to the existing functionality. Uh, what is this? But yeah, nothing too major. I just want to see what's down here now. Kind of hard to see where I'm going <laughs> with this uh, first person mod. Probably should go into third person, but let's uh, let's see how far down this goes. I'm not really sure where I want to set set up camp, but I definitely don't want to just rush things and you know start building in the first place. I find like last time, well, this really goes down. Should I push it? Is that, does that work? I... Hmm. Okay, I appreciate this is probably pitch black for you guys. Isn't that weird? XP stuff it is. Well, this is not how I thought I'd be starting this uh, series off, but there you go. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to spend any time down here. Just kind of interested to see what there is. I assume this is a mine shaft. I do remember those from years back. Um, 
I mean, I'm pretty sure you, you didn't find a ladder to go straight down there. You would have to find them when you were in caves, but that might be part of the mods or in some sort of update. I feel like I'm going to get very lost in here very quickly. of ambient sounds and uh yeah generic sounds foot you know uh, footsteps so you can hear both feet um a bunch more sort of wildlife and nature and different animals and mobs uh i don't think any like uh, aggressive mobs just kind of extra wildlife um which seems quite cool I've, I've literally sort of generated a couple of worlds to test these different mods out and make sure my game was stable, but apart from that I've not actually played, so again this is all going to be very new to me. I, I feel like I should just probably get out of here for now, but part of me wants to keep looking around. I guess there's got to be a chest or something somewhere. I mean, I'm assuming so. matter but is it this way I think I can see the ladder yeah I mean this is weird oh wow it's gonna take a long time to get up but yeah obviously my uh, first series didn't have many views at all um, I'm still you know, working out what to uh, you know, what to do, how to make thumbnails and how to improve my videos. So yes, if anyone has any suggestions, I'm always going to read the comments. Um, but I think mainly I'm just going for a more relaxed, chilled out kind of series. You know, I don't want anything extreme. I'm not doing any speed running or massive weird challenges or anything like that. It's just going to be quite laid back, just doing things as I sort of see fit. That's how how I like to play. And I mean, there's a, there's a million people doing all sorts of, uh, all the crazy stuff that I guess you can watch if you, if you like that stuff. But I feel like I just want to do my own thing and I'm just see where it goes. Kind of a nice area around here. Oops. Um. Yeah, I just kind of want somewhere. This relatively flat to start building on. This feels like it could work quite well. direction was that? Northeast. It's getting dark and I have nothing. <laughs> uh. I don't really just want to dig a hole either. Where was that thing? Behind me. Am I blind? 
as it just looked like something. Oh no, there's something there. Is that a single house? Please have a bed in here. Oh, perfect. Right, you wake up. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I've got a cool bed when you uh, sleep. I don't know what's going on down there. It's a villager. Um, but now when I sleep, it takes slightly longer, but the world time kind of speeds up and the the time you skip when you sleep actually affects you know what's happening. So if you plant crops and you sleep, you know, things will grow the amount they should have. Um, which is quite cool. This is interesting. I'll, I think I've, I guess this is one of my many mods, but I don't think I've ever seen a, a house. Just a single house on its own. Does he trade? He does trade. I feel like I'm going to have to steal some of his stuff. When I say some of it, I mean absolutely every last thing. I wonder if he'll replant it. I'll leave him to it. How do I get out of here then? Right. Do we want to build here or do we want to move somewhere else? The village over there. That looks quite flat, doesn't it? Or maybe. Slightly boring. Let's check it out. I mean... I feel like making a house out of mainly wood this time, after my absolute monstrosity of a cobblestone house previously. These cool splashes of... <laughs> I do like these sort of subtle effects, they just kind of enhance it, and I like this, you know, mainly vanilla looking water but with some nice reflections and everything else kind of yeah you know, fits the game doesn't it i know you can go for the sort of ultra realistic look but i prefer just sort of building on what's already there if that makes sense what's that weird looking cow um this feels like a cool area to build then Oh, lots of trees, a village there, lots of water, some sort of weird things to go and explore at some point. Jungles, deserts, or beaches, sand, whatever that is. Yeah, this looks cool to me, I think. You can have a little uh, pier or jetty or whatever down into the water, I think. Let's just stick some stuff down, get a crafting bench going, some coal here as well. effects. As you can see, I'm easily pleased. Right, actually probably want to start with definitely get a crafting bench, but I think it makes sense to um, get a pickaxe as we're surrounded by easy stone. 
Uh, probably one of these weird looking ugly things we can get rid of. Start getting rid of at least. And then I can make a load of uh, axes, get some wood, um, and then start building the start of our new house. Can you get coal with a wooden pickaxe? Yeah. Okay, let's just bin that off. Let's do that. Let's speed this up slightly. I do like the sound effects, like the birds in the trees as well as seagulls and stuff. for now, as we're about to get more, and well, let's just use all of it for now. I can see some more coal over there anyway. Um, actually, let's get a chest as well. We do need to sort some food out. What's it? Why is it switching? That's weird. I should probably get in the habit of replanting these saplings. I mean, I wonder if that's an option of this mod. A... thing to make it auto plant is there. No, oh well, that's fine. Can be annoying a lot of the time. 
if it auto plants or something. seems to be acting slightly strange. Right, it switches away from the tool when it's about to run out for some reason. Probably start building something before it gets dark. They have a decent amount of health. that whoops oh well Sure, style to go with, but just put some corners down for now. to uh, add that, add another mod to my pack actually that switches to the, uh, the next stack of things if you run out. That's also a nice one to get.
I'm just wondering how high to build this. And like how much space to use if I've got when I get glass. Hmm. Think. Yeah, I think it's kind of nicer to have at least two height. I wonder if I should cover these in fences for now to keep me safe before I get glass. Probably should do, shouldn't I? Let's build a roof first. Now, do we want a bit of overhang on the roof? Probably do, don't we? Tell I'm rusty at trying to make things look nice. Or just building in general. What oh, dude? There we go. if I haven't already for the basic whispering um, I have a young child that's uh, sleeping very close to where I have my uh, computer so I have to oh no that's what I get for trying to multitask um, so I've got to be quite quiet Oops. 
Da ist Yvonne. I feel like I should definitely make some fences. Look a bit weird for now. Do they make different colored sticks? No. No. Is it that way around? Here it is. for now but it'll do until we get some glass going Too bad. How long have we been recording for? 32 minutes, okay. Uh, stairs. We should probably sleep so I don't get attacked by 500 things. I'd like to kind of just expand on from this house and, you know, extend in different... What's that down there? Extend in different uh, directions, you know, make different buildings and join them together and make different floors and levels and 
think it'd be quite nice around here. Now, learning from last time, I should definitely get certain things going sooner rather than later, like um, books, as in sugarcane, to, to get uh, some books going for enchantments. suit. I feel like I might go for some of the achievements as well. Um, achievements, advancements, whatever they call them on here. That's something I've never done before. Day four. I'll leave that there for episode one and I might just finish this off uh, off camera and do a few other boring bits just so it's not too repetitive so yeah thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one bye